Nah, man, the temptation is just too strong. I don't think I can do this. Ah, man, you know what? I'm just gonna go, whatever. Wait. The best way to fight temptation is by fighting it with Bible verses. Whenever I have temptation, I would say James chapter 4, verse 7. What is going on, you guys? Gabriel Fibro here with a brand new video about sexual temptation. Usually, what people ask me are. Usually when people ask me, Gabriel, how do I fight temptation? Gabriel, how do I even beat temptation? They're you most likely referring to sexual temptation. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to beat sexual temptation every single time and what not to do during temptation. By the way, all the tips that I give in this video, I've done them myself. I'm not giving you guys some empty advice that I've never tried. I've tried them before. I used to struggle with lust for four years, but Jesus has set me free. And I know how you might feel that you might never become free or you feel like you can never be set free. I promise you freedom is possible through Christ. And even if you don't struggle with lust, it is good to know how to fight sexual temptation when it comes up. Literally every single Christian will encounter this type of temptation at some point in their life. What does the Bible even say about temptation? I'm glad you asked. Let's go open our Bibles to the book of James chapter 1 verse 14. Let's go. But each one is tempted when he is drawn away by his own desires and enticed. <laughs> enticed in the Greek meaning means to lure, like a bait, pretty much. Think of it like this. The devil is out there fishing, right? And you know, he puts that bait on that hook. What he wants you to do is to grab a little bit. Just a little bit off that bait because once you grab a little bit off that bait, you're going to be stuck in the hook and he's going to, he got you pretty much. Oh, Gabriel, hold up, hold up, hold up. The temptation comes from God. Nope. In the verse above, verse 13, it says, Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he, he himself tempt anyone. <laughs> That's why in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18, it says to flee. To run away. Actually, let's go there right now. Let's go grab your Bibles and go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. sexual morality every sin that a man does is outside the body but he who commits sexual morality sins against his own body it's <laughs> going back to the bait example if you take a long look at the bait if you just keep staring at the bait you're gonna convince yourself oh, what's the harm in it Gabriel? oh what's the harm well, let, let me just go take a little piece off the bait and that's it i'm not gonna take the whole bite that's why when you get sexual temptation you have to fight it right away do not let that thought linger in your head because the more you it keep it more the more it stays on your head without you doing anything the more likely you're probably gonna fall into sin you see someone running away from sexual temptation you want to know who let's go to the book of genesis chapter 39 verse 11 and 12. so the context of this story is that joseph is working for pharaoh but pharaoh's wife wants to sleep with joseph because it says here that joseph is pretty handsome you know he's pretty lean and buff so let's go read verse 11. But it happened about this time when Joseph went into the house to do his work and none of the men of the house was inside. That she caught him by his garment saying, lie with me. But he left his garment in her hand and fled and ran outside. Man literally ran away. He took the verse literally because the verse is meant to be taken literally to run away from sexual immorality. We should all take example from what Joseph actually did in that situation. You are in a relationship. It's starting to get real now, ain't it? If you are in a relationship and you're getting tempted, do not stay there. Get up and flee from the temptation. Run away. Do something. Be like, hey, hey, babe, let's go outside. Do say something. Get out of that situation. If Joseph even doubted himself, even for five seconds of whether or not he should run, he probably would have fallen into temptation. By him falling into temptation, it probably would have gotten him killed. Don't make the excuse of saying, oh, Gabriel, I can handle it. You can't handle it. I can't handle it. Guys, remember the Bible. Again, I'm going to keep saying it over and over and over again so you can make, so you can literally understand. The Bible says to flee from sexual morality. We shouldn't be messing with that in the first place. Hey, Gabriel, I understand to run away from temptation. But what do I do if I can't? 
or what can I do while running from temptation? Pay attention to this because this is the key to actually winning and fighting your temptation. Go back to the Bible and let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 10. Context here is that Jesus was actually facing temptation from Satan himself. So this is what Jesus did. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. Jesus set the example for us Christians to follow. So if Jesus used Bible verses to fight temptation, Why can't you use Bible verses to fight temptation? I want you to take out a piece of paper and a pen, and I want you to write these verses down, because these are verses that you guys can use to fight sexual temptations. First one is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. The second one is Job chapter 31 verse 1 the third one is second timothy chapter 2 verse 22 one that i personally use is james chapter 4 verse 7 and then the last one is galatians chapter 5 verse 16. You need to have at least more than one of these verses memorized so when temptation hits you can find it right away because in hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says for the word of god is living and powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword piercing even through the division of soul and spirit and of joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Brush the dust and start using your weapon. Here are some things that you should not do during temptation. The first one is pretty obvious. Do not make a movie out of your temptation. Let's say this again. Do not make a movie out of your temptation. For example, do not actually see yourself actually go committing and falling into sin. What are you doing? Stop! Another thing that you should not do is just do nothing. Oh my goodness, guys. I know, I know, I know. But you guys have to understand, if you keep letting that thought linger in your head, you're going to lose. You're going to fall into temptation. The point that I'm trying to stress is that don't fight the devil with your bare hands because he'll knock you out faster than Jake Paul with Ben Askren. God gave us a weapon. So use it. The third thing is to cut off things that might put you in a tempting situation in the future. So if staying up late causes you to sin, then start sleeping earlier. You know, staying alone with your boyfriend or girlfriend will cause you to have lustful thoughts or cause you to have sexual temptations. Do not make plans to stay alone with them. Or better yet, if there's a situation where you guys might stay alone, be a backup plan. Like say, oh, we're, let's just hang out in the living room. Don't stay, like don't put yourself in a tempting situation. <laughs> not give the devil an opportunity to give you bait. It also applies to music. Don't think I was gonna brush off music. No, music is important. So if you listen to songs that talk about lust, uh, drugs, revenge, anger, etc., even a clean version counts as this. Stop listening to them. Listen more to songs that worship God. Listen to songs that glorifies Him. Some of you might ask, but Gabriel, does sexual temptation ever go away? Like, like, will I stop having them? The more you start fighting against temptation, the more stronger you're going to get. And when a sexual temptation comes, it'll be a lot easier just to quit. But will they ever leave you? No. At some point, like, the devil will try to bait you. But it'll be much easier to, for you to fight because you've been fighting it for such a long time. Remember, sexual temptation can never be too strong for you to, for you to overcome. And it will not last forever. Just continue fighting them with scripture and they will go away. You're struggling with lust. I go more in depth of how to get free from lust in this video right here. Go check it out if you have time. Guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for more Christian content. Don't forget to follow all my socials right there. My Instagram, my TikTok. It will be all in the description below. And I'll see you next week. Praise God. Peace.